Okay, so for those of you that have a Roomba, uh, I'm going to show you that you can do a lot more with it than just to uh, let it run around and vacuum the floor. A good friend of mine was willing to lend me a Roomba without knowing what I am going to do with it. So here we go. Okay, so the first thing is you remove the top off from the Roomba so that it reveals the connection that we need to make. Uh, you need to first get a Bluetooth module. This is a Bluetooth module with the antenna and connect it to this PS2 serial port that is on the Roomba. Okay, we have created an Android app for controlling this Roomba. And here it is, Roomba Control. I'm going to start this app. The first thing we need to do is make a Bluetooth connection between this app and the Bluetooth receiver that is connected on the Roomba. So I'm going to press this connection button. And a list of all the Bluetooth devices for me to connect to will be listed here. The one that I want to connect to now is named Roomba. So I'm going to press this. Once I press this, there is a, currently there is a red flashing light on the Bluetooth uh, board here. When the connection is made, it will turn green. So I'm going to start this connection. Okay, now we see on this Bluetooth board, there's the green light now instead of the red flashing light. So now we're connected. So now, coming back to this app, I will set this Roomba into control mode. So I press this control button. Okay, now I'm ready to send commands to this Roomba. Okay, now, now that we have put the Roomba into control mode, now we're ready to uh, send it commands to do things. So the first command we're going to try is to uh, get it to move forward. So I'm going to press this forward button here. And there it goes. Stop, you let it go. Now we're going to turn left. All right, and turn right. Forward, oops. Let's go backward here, and do a little spin, and spin right. Now isn't that neat? Alright, that's the spot screen there.